Welcome back to the Ebony Sheree Show. <laughs> okay, so I am going to film a quick little pink eyeshadow moment. Sorry if you noticed nails are broken. I'm on the way to the nail shop with my friend. Okay, so today I'm going to be using the new Morphe Stunning 35V palette. I don't know if you guys can like really see that or not, but we're going to focus around this area. And I got this palette from Ulta maybe about three weeks ago, and I'm like obsessed. And then I also got the, um, I'm trying to like grab all the brushes that are in her collection. And I also got the Morphe Jaclyn Hill collab brushes as well. And I have a whole bunch of other brushes and stuff, so. I'm like on a Morphe kick right now. I'm like on the bandwagon. So yeah, I had to pin this wig back a little bit so I have some room to do my eyes. Hopefully I'm focusing. I'm like at my little vanity I just built and got my mirror right here and I'm gonna be using my Jeffree Star mirror. So all right, let's dive in because I can like ramble, ramble, ramble and I really don't have a lot of time, so. <laughs> Okay, so going in with the Morphe palette. Um, I like to have like a flesh tone color for my um, base. I'm like transition color. <laughs> I'm so tired. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to go in with this color. Where is it at? Right there. with this big old fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna coat my whole eyelid. Okay, this is so weird looking into the camera and doing this because I feel like I'm going the opposite way so I'm just gonna have my little mirror right here to look into. <laughs> And these brushes are so soft, like they literally glide on like butter. I'm like obsessed. And I did my foundation and eyebrows off camera because I just didn't have time for all that. And I just, there will come a time that I will come on here bare face and completely start from zero. So you guys can see my complete makeup routine. And so I just go back and forth until I coat my whole lid. A little strand of hair. Okay. So that's what I do. I just do it enough to coat the whole thing. Now, let's see. Where did I... And I'm also going to be using my Stila Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow today. So pretty. And it's in the color Sea Siren. Uh, I'm like so excited to be using this. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's next. I need, um, just to define my crease, I'm going to put a shade in the crease area and I'm gonna go in with hmm. okay and I'm gonna go in with this like flat head fluffy crease blending brush and I am gonna dip into oh I just dug my nail into that side of the eyeshadow. Oh my God, I can die right now. Okay, no more grabbing it from there anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna dip into this color right here. Oh, that was 
that was scary. That was a scary moment. I, I'm really like precise on how I go into my eyeshadows because I hate, there's nothing more than I hate than a sloppy, messy palette. It just irks me. It's just one of my things. I want it to look clean and pretty and smooth. And I'm just like, ooh. I can't believe I just got a nail bit in that. Anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to start from the crease in my eye. This one little piece of hair, come on, work with me. I'm trying to do a tutorial. Okay. You see that color? It's, oh my god. And I'm just going to blend that up in the crease. Babe, you're being so quiet. You don't have to be that quiet. He was playing music this morning and I was like, do you mind turning that down to some? I'm gonna try to do a tutorial. And he was like, yeah, that's okay. Oh my God, my nail appointment is soon and I still have to go pick up my friend. So I'm gonna take that same color and I'm gonna repeat what I just did on the other eye on this side. And I wanted to stop at Starbucks beforehand and get like, you know, a latte before and a, a pastry to have because I haven't ate breakfast, but. And I just go like circle of motions and just go back and forth. <clears throat> and I try to stay away from the bottom lid because of course we're gonna put shadow there. And I mean, sometimes you can go over the bottom lid completely with the color and you can put concealer to make it blank again and then add your other color. But I'm not trying to do a cut crease. And then again, I don't have time to do a cut crease too. So I am trying to be very careful on how I apply this. And when you blend, try not to push the brush too hard against your eyelid because you don't want harsh lines on your eyelid from the brush so just gently glide back and forth and you can add a little or a lot you know these are very buildable shadows it just depends on how dramatic you want and since we all know I'm really extra I want it to be like really, really bright. <laughs> okay. Ugh. So now I'm going to do something to make it a little bit more darker on the edges. And I'm going to go into shade. This one looks nice. I'm going to go into this shade right here. And I'm going to be using um, my Morphe Jaclyn Hill brush. And that is in the JH32. And it looks like this. Look how much that coated that brush. Love. And then I'm going to go from the corner of my eye. And just kind of like stroke up a little bit. In a circle of motion up into the crease just so we get a little bit of definition. There's nothing wrong with layering shadows. Pretty much I'm just smoking out the edge. And I'm gonna repeat that same step on the side. And there's not a bunch of fallout. Oh, actually talking about fallout. I missed a step. Oh my God, I'm about to look so crazy. So I use a Bill Nine Ledgery powder to bake and uh, contour my face. Oh my God, I can't believe I was about to leave the house without doing that. Oh my God. that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with my Morphe highlight and contour sponge. 
and I do it on the flat edge of it and I am just going to tuck this right under my eye and above my cheekbone. And another good thing about doing this as well as highlighting your face is that if you're working with an eyeshadow palette that does have a lot of fallout, this will catch it. And then once you dust your face off, and I do like the side of my nose, so it like contours it too. Um, when you dust it away, it takes a shadow. I'm just going to rip that out. Okay. It's not my hair, so it didn't hurt. <laughs> okay, and then I'm just going to repeat that same step on the other side. And I try to get as close to my waterline as possible. And then I do the side of my nose. Okay, maybe that was like too close to my lash line. I'm serious. Like my eyeball takes so much abuse. And so does my lips. <laughs> I know that sounds weird, but from all the liquid lipstick I wear, my lips are dry AF. I'm so excited. Um, Friday, Jeffree Star launches his holiday collection. And um, the theme is like alien and like extraterrestrial and all that stuff. And then I go down my nose. And you see how it's already not like contoured now. And then I take a little bit and I do my Cupid's bow. Just to highlight the areas that I want highlighted. Anyways, as I was saying, he's coming out with this alien palette. And he did a review not a review, but a reveal on his channel the other day. And the color story is not um, really for me. I look like a dusty ghost right now. But you'll see in a little bit how it all makes sense. And for my makeup lovers that know, this is called baking. <laughs> and then I do the bottom half of my face because I'm just carving out my chin. Double chin. With this lighting on this camera, I look so crazy. But that's okay because I know the magic that's going to come from putting this banana powder all over my face. So that's okay. I'm just going to keep moving along. And I let this sit on my face until I'm completely done with my eyeshadow. And then I dust it off before I apply liner. Whoa, it's going on 9.30. Hold on, I gotta text my friend. Damn it. But yeah, so his eyeshadow palettes, hold on. I'm running a little behind, but I will try to leave the house by 9.35 or 9.40, I'm sorry. And like Connor's gonna watch this video later and be like, this is why I was late, Connor. <laughs> but it's okay because Lady at the nail shop, when I went to go make her appointment the other day, she was like, oh yeah, on Saturday mornings we open at 10, but we run a little bit of high and like 10, 10 and all that, just wait and we got you down. So I'm excited, I'm gonna get a fresh new set, I'm gonna get my hol uh, my Halloween nails off and she's gonna get a Medi Pedi. So I'm excited. I don't even know what color. I usually pick a color that I'm wearing and I'm like, ooh, pink, because pink's my favorite color, but I don't know, I kinda wanna do something like fall, so I might do like a gold, brownish, orange. I don't know, I don't know. I don't know yet. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I might just do pink and then do those colors closer to Thanksgiving, but who knows. Anyways, I'm like so ADD, it's not even funny. What was I doing? Oh yeah, I baked my face. I defined, oh. Now it's time to put this on my face. <laughs> oh my God, Lord Jesus, help me. So I was watching the reveal. Well, first off, this liquid eyeshadow comes with a dufa. And I'm just going to smear that on the bottom lip there. And I'm going to go from the corner. And I don't really swipe. I kind of pat swipe. If that makes sense. And before you put this on, 
you could put a eyeshadow base or concealer. I'm just laying it down on my eye because I really don't have time. But it's, I mean, come on. The pig. <laughs> okay, Stila, you better work. I love this stuff. I have another one, and it's it's the satin shade. I bought it last summer when I was out with my friend Malia. Hey, girl. And um, this is when I was back home in California. She took me to my eye appointment. Long story, making sure we went to the mall. Yeah. <laughs> and we decided to go in Sephora, of course, because we're huge makeup lovers. And this line was just launching. And we were like, oh, my God. Like, we got to, like, get that. Like, we got to have it. So we each bought one. But I got this one last night at TJ Maxx on clearance for only $6.99. When these retail for about between like $22 to $25. What a steal. I know. So I'm just going to pat and swipe that over my lid. Oh my god. That is just beautiful. I'm obsessed. I know I look like a hot mess right now, but it'll make sense eventually. At least hopefully. If not, then that sucks. I just wasted a whole bunch of time and I got you guys watching this makeup tutorial. More like a get ready with me. Because um, I'm not really going step by step, but yeah. So I'm going to repeat that same step I did here on this side. What was I talking Oh yeah, so the Jeffree Star... <laughs> collection uh, the color story is really not for me because I'm not really into like um, a whole bunch of greens now I do like green um, my friend Connor got me the dark magic palette from the Jaclyn Hill Volt collection and I will be doing a look with that soon uh, very pretty for fall very holiday there's a lot of metallics and matte shades and it's versatile. That I can work with. But I'm a little disappointed with the Alien palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics because I feel like it's like, I don't know, it's a lot of like poopy greens and just like foresty green. Just greens I wouldn't really care to wear, especially with my skin tone. So I just, I don't know. But those liquid lips, them liquid lipsticks... If you watched the video, then you will understand all the extraness right now. Like, seriously, I need Jeffrey who? I need, hi, how are ya? Like, there's so many colors. Like, when that launches on the 9th, I'm on it. <laughs> like, I cannot wait. And the reason why I was mentioning that, um, because the liquid lip scrub... They have holiday flavors like nutmeg and pumpkin pie and stuff like that. And they're all edible lip scrubs. And with wearing a lot of liquid lips, a lip scrub is really nice to have. So it foliates and gets the dead skin off your lips. So they stay um, soft and hydrated. Okay. Oh, she texts me back. Oh my God. I'm loving this. So I just kind of keep going back and forth in layer, I feel like. But don't do it, like, if it looks patchy, just try to stroke it. Because then again, it is liquid eyeshadow. And sometimes, depending on if it dries fast or not, it can look kind of cakey in places. But I just try to pat and go when it's really wet. So that's what that looks like. I mean, the color. Mmm. Mm. obsessed yeah that's that's really pretty I might not even do liner I might just smack some lashes on that and um call it a day let's see what she said real quick she's probably like she said no worries so am I oh cool she's running late too ha 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 yay Okay. Awesome. Now, um, since I do have a little extra time, I might throw on some liner. I don't know. I think I'm going to take... 
And it's so cool, like this Morphe Jaclyn Hill um, collection comes with a brow highlighting brush to do right here. I'm like, really? Really? Obsessed. Okay. Ah, I don't know if this is like, I feel this like drying down on my lids. Kind of weird. So I'm going to go back in with the Morphe palette and I'm going to go into I don't know if I should hmm I'm gonna go in with this white shade right here to highlight my brows and the inner corner of my eyes so if you guys have watched the recent and I just lightly stroke under my eyebrows, like very lightly. Look how pigmented Morphe, I am, mm. I have really been obsessed with them lately. Like I look so crazy with this stuff on my face. When I FaceTime uh, my bestie, <laughs> Isaiah, and I have all this on my face, he's like, he stay roasting me. Like, if you guys know who Zaya is, he stay getting on my head. <laughs> he's all like, he calls this creating my mask, which pretty much that's what it is. So I'm going to go back in with that same shade, and I'm just going to lightly stroke under my brow. I really need to work on my brow style. I feel like I still do look like classic now, like box shape. I really need to learn to make it more natural up front, but I like how that looks on me, but I don't know. I feel like I could do better. And then if you want, you can kind of just drag that shape down. I don't know if you guys can really like see. Uh, that though. Uh, love. Love. Okay. <clears throat> now that that's done. Oh, I'm going to take my Big O Sephora Flawless Powder Brush in number 40. And I am going to dust all this white stuff off my face. And if there's patches that still look kind of white, you know, that's fine because I'm going to go in with bronzer and warm my face up. I just really want to like highlight certain points in my face. Oh my God. I'm like really hungry. I'm going to have to mm, get a snack or something. I'm like, oh, I've been up since like 7 a.m. So. It's gone on 10. I'm a little, I'm a little hungry. So I look like a pasty ghost, but that's okay. Cause I'm about to warm my face up with some bronzer. <laughs> and I'm going to be using my Milan big bronzer in number five from Milan. Or is it Milani? I don't know. And then I'm going to be using my Sephora all over powder brush it doesn't have a number but I know this came in a limited collection like two years ago these colors and my friend Vance actually bought them so I can do his Halloween makeup he was a Dale and um he gave me his brushes because I mean ain't like he be getting down all the time he was like I know you would love them and appreciate them so he's like you can have them and I was like thanks <laughs> thanks botch and I just go down my nose and right here to kind of like, and this I just do like really fast. I just kind of like hit the forehead a little bit. And I feel like this looks really good when you're out in the light because it really gives you that like sun kissed look. I still feel like I look like a pasty ghost, but maybe when I put on setting spray, it will look better. Oh my God, this, mm. 
I don't know if you guys can see all the reflex like in my shadow. Like really? Um mm. obsessed. I still need to get used to this whole like camera thing and like where to focus and stuff because I mean I don't know. <sighs> okay, it's 9.33. Okay, so now that I've baked and bronzed, I am gonna close. Oh yeah. I was gonna no, I'll wait just a second for that. Put that back there. Mmm. This video is like going on forever. Okay. Now I'm gonna go in with my favorite black liner and that is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner, $3, $3. Got it at Dollar General. Like I said in a previous video, I used to always buy the MAC Boot Black. It was like $21, $22, a little uh, No. Wet n Wild is where it is for this black liner, for sure. So I'm just going to do a little wing, and I'm going to slap on some lashes and some blush and a lip. <sighs> Hopefully it doesn't take forever. And then I'm going to go. <laughs> so I like to start mm, from the middle of my eye. And try to make sure that if you're using liquid eyeshadow that it's dry first. So when you apply it. I don't know if you guys can like really see that. I don't mm. Make sure it's completely dry. So when you put this on and it's wet and you create your wing your liner it doesn't drag and mesh the colors oh and I just went too wide but that's okay Okay, that's one wing down, and now it's time to do the other side. Maybe you guys can see this a lot more. Oh my god, my battery camera only has three minutes left. This is so, this is, this is messed up. I don't even have a stinching cord right here to even plug my camera in to keep this rolling. Well, if this cuts off, I'm going to be so pissed because I really want to finish the final look. I'm going to be so mad. Oh, my God. Wow. I, like, can't even focus now that I know that my camera is about to die. After all that, God, two minutes left. That is a bunch of malarkey. Well, I'm going to have to cut this video short. I can't be mad at no one but myself. I should have been more prepared and at least had this charge. It said it had 50 something minutes of life left on it and I'm only at 28 minutes and 40 seconds, but I guess that's not the case. Well, like always, thanks for watching. And until the next video, I will make sure my damn camera is charged. I'll post a picture on my Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat so you guys can see the finished look. God, what a mess. Anyways, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And like I said, thanks for watching.